Hey there, guys. It's Mia here. I am so excited. I am so excited about this live today. I'm going to teach very simply uh, over the next uh, couple of minutes. I'm going to teach you how to hit six figures plus with only one offer, with only one offer. I'm Mia Redrick. I am the mom strategist, business and life coach consultant. I got started in my company over 18 years ago. And I simply made a decision like you're making right now. I wanted to figure out how to go to work as myself, how to take what I was doing professionally as a corporate trainer and my life skills as a mom and how to package what I knew how to do naturally into my own business, into a business. And I had no idea how to do that. So my very first step, I actually went to uh, the Small Business Resource Center in my town. Hey, Janelle, good to see you. And I was told by the director of that Small Business Resource Center that my idea, mom coaching, that no one would ever pay me to do what I've done today. And so maybe you've shared your big idea out of the box idea with someone also, and they've told you that that's impossible. That's what happened to me. And I kept looking for someone to help me. And I ended up bumping into an amazing business coach, decided to work with her and her models changed my life forever. Okay. Uh, forever. Um, and so I know that this is really going to support those of you who've been asking this question. You're already creating results in the workplace. You're already creating results in the life of others. People come to you all the time and say, what you said to me, I did what you suggested and it worked. And so, you know, you have the ability to create results for others, but you, you're not sure how to take that knowledge, how to package that knowledge so that you can create a solid, sustainable business. All right. Um, when I got started in my business, I'll tell you that one of the things that I desired more than anything was freedom. And so I knew I could not work for another company for 40 or 50 years or more, right? Like I, I just couldn't do it for 40 to 70 hours a week. And so I wanted to figure out how could I go to work, do work that I absolutely love, but be able to work from the comfort of my home. And I've been able to do that. I've been a full-time entrepreneur for over a decade and I've coached thousands of women. They too build out solid businesses with their knowledge from scratch. And I show them how to package their expertise, their education, their gifts, their talent, their soft skills, their hard skills, their life skills into products or into a formation that um, other people value and pay them for their knowledge. So that was a dream of mine years ago. And I didn't know if it was going to happen. But as a result of me moving in the direction of what I really thought I was meant to do, I've been able to be signed to Emmy nominated and nationally syndicated television shows as the mom strategist. I've been able to write books and do tons of consulting with corporate brands, Fortune 100 and Fortune, Fortune 500 companies as the mom strategist. I've been able equally to coach thousands of women and support them in realizing their dreams as well. And that is so meaningful to me because it's one thing for me to be able to create the results myself and I have, and I can back it all up. But more importantly, it's more important that I have the ability to transfer my knowledge, my systems, my step-by-step -step to others. And I've been able to do this. Now, one of the things that if you've been following me, you already know this, but if you're new up there, let me just tell you, um, one of the things that's really important to me is that when you build a business to get free, that you build a business to stay free. And I think a lot of times people don't understand the difference. So let me talk to you a little bit about that. And then I'll jump into this live tonight, which is going to be phenomenal. How to hit six figures plus, okay, with only one offer. And I'm going to give it up as always. And then I'll open the floor for a live Q&A at the end. If you stay to the end, there is a treat as always. Okay. So um, what I found for myself, hey there, darling, thank you. Um, what I found for myself was building this business saved, saved my life, saved my family's life in many ways. And my husband developed kidney disease about nine or 10 years ago, went on dialysis. I don't know what you guys know about that therapy. It's very aggressive. Um, and so three times a week, three hours a day, you know, three times a week, the kids were really young, 11 nine and six years old and life had to go on, but this was a, like a major stressor for us. And one of the things that I always 
think about is because I built my business before I needed it. When I needed that business to be there for me and my family, it was my husband could get an elevated level of care. We hired for him a private physician outside of standard medical care so that he could get elevated care, right? So during this time, and I believe that's why he did amazingly well and continues to do so um, when he got his kidney transplant over five years ago. So when I am speaking to you guys about building a solid business, I am not talking about hustle and grind, or I'm not talking about flash cash strategies. I'm not talking about just chasing money. I'm talking about building a solid business that that you can trust, okay? And so if that's something that you value, then you'll love my channel because I think there's so many people out there that are always just talking about money for the sake of money. But one of the things that I realized is that building a solid business allowed me to show up for my family in very powerful ways. I also learned that a man is not a plan and your job is not a plan. OK, so you really understand that, that a lot of us as women are codependent on our spouse's income or on our job's income. And because of it, we cannot move forward and do the things that we need to do because we are hoping and wishing this thing that we have called our husband's income, you know, your job's income. We're depending on that and not depending on the talents that we have inside of us that really are enough they are enough. Okay. And I would tell you the other thing that I love about growing this business is that um, I've been able to give my kids a world-class education. And that was really important to me as a mom. I wanted my kids to have a world-class education. We did independent schools overall for our kids. We've invested over a million dollars in just elementary, middle, and high school. And that was a dream that I have. And I know that a lot of the women that follow me, one of the things that you also desire is to give your kids experiences, whether that's education or travel or private tutoring or something else. You desire that, right? That that type of lifestyle. And to me, those are just so in, such incredible investments because they come back over and over and over and over again. All right. So that's kind of the ABCs of me. And um, I'm going to get started. This is going to be an incredible live. So make sure you stay until the end. Tonight, I'm going to talk about how to hit six figures plus, plus, okay, with only one offer. And I wanted to do this particular live because the people who reach out to my company and they are just smart and sharp, right? And and they've already made investments, right? You've already made investments, but a lot of times they're missing these steps. And because of it, they've not real been able to realize their goals with the actual solution. I'll give you an example. I just hosted a conference. It was just two weeks ago, like just two weeks ago and just a few weeks ago. And one of the women who's sharp and smart and incredible in my community. And if you're my client here and you, and I'm, if I'm telling the truth, if you would validate it, if it's not true, say it's not true. Um, but the one of the women there, Michelle, within 24 hours of leaving the conference, closed $15,000. Now, let's be clear. She already had exactly what she needed to be able to close at a high level, but she was missing the most important part. And that I'm going to share with you today. Now, you're going to need to get your notepads out, right? And as always, I bring my A game. Why? Because why am I going to pull back the layers? Why am I going to tell you the secrets? I'm going to tell you the secrets because long term, I'd love to support you on your journey when you are ready. All right. So if you're ready, I want you to write, I'm ready here. And then we're going to get started. I'll read a couple of the comments that have come in. Janelle has given me a fist, fist bump and Camille says, good evening. I love the earrings and necklace. Those are your colors. Awesome. I thought of you. <laughs> okay. Um, and then Camille writes, yes, that's why I love your channel. This is business, not hustle. I'm not into that. There are lots of places we can go for that. And, and, and quite frankly, if I speak to that hustle piece of it, it, it really comes from a place of lack. It comes from a place of, uh, of uh, scarcity. 
um, it comes from a place of fear. And I want each person here, if you follow me, to know that you already have what you need to create success. Likely, you just need the step-by-step. -step. You need the system for the parts that you do not know, right? And so we'll address a lot of that today, but it's what you don't know that's getting in the way, right? It, it's not work harder. It's work smarter. It's work with ease and grace. And that's what I teach my clients. Okay. Awesome. And Ange Dove says, yes, love the colors today. See, that's the colors. I must have wore the right colors today. Thank you, Ange. Okay, perfect. All right. And Charlene is ready. Wendy is also ready. So we're going to jump right in. And I'm super excited about this training today. And I was thinking about it. I got really fired up when I thought about it earlier today. And I was like, I just want to, I just want to tell them what it takes, because maybe just maybe you think it's harder than it is because of what either A, you've invested in or what you're doing currently that's not working or you're about, you maybe you're this close to saying like this idea, this this business idea doesn't work and you're thinking of changing something up or, uh, or you're thinking that you need like a million funnels in order for you to grow what you're doing. You don't need any of that, okay? You, you, a lot of my clients sell and they haven't even created a website yet. It's just fact, okay? Because once you understand what to do, step by step, you can do it. Janelle is ready. Awesome. All right, let's just jump in. How to hit six figures plus plus with only one offer. All right. And number one, the first thing that you need to do is you need to get clear on what value you provide to the world. And you need to, okay, this is controversial, but you need to stop copying what others are doing and you need to stop piecing together, okay, what your offer is, right? And you need to stop believing that whatever it is that you want to do, that it isn't enough, okay? We're going to stop that, all right? So the first thing you have to do is you got to get clear on the value you provide. And this is probably the biggest and most important thing because it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like much, right? You may be thinking already, I know the value I provide uh, individuals that want to work with me. But the question is, do you really? All right. One of the things that I'm really good at is helping my clients zone in on what is the value that you provide to the people who want to work with you? What do I mean? I mean that people want to work with you, not because you're a business coach, not because you're a health consultant, not because you're an accountant, not because you are a special type of doctor. They don't want to work with you because of your title. And so many of us think that the reason that someone has come to work with us is because of our title. That's not why someone works with you. People come to work with you because of the value that you provide and that that value is super clear, super clear. Okay. Meaning think about it this way. Think of the number of times that you've walked into a networking event and listen to people introduce themselves to you or maybe from stage and they told you what they did and you still didn't know what they did okay you if, if and maybe you needed what they did like maybe you needed whatever it is that they do in their business the results that they provide but because they're not clear on the value that they provide they can't talk to you in terms of that value when I tell you, this is the secret. It is so important to get this, all right? That, you know, the reason somebody wants to work with you is because they have a problem, okay? And when you clearly communicate that what you do solves that problem, for them, they are listening, right? Like, and I'll, I'll give you the story. I'll tell you the story. I shared the story one time. I had a, um, a beagle dog at one point, and his name was Basil. Basil the Beagle. And Basil, I had him for two months. I adopted him from someone else. And she said he had behavioral problems. I had Basil for two months, never barked. Basil never howled. He never barked. He didn't do any of that. Okay. Two months into our journey together, Basil started owls at five o'clock in the morning. It was insane. Okay. I needed help right away. And so I started looking for someone that could help me online. And I ended up finding this guy that said how to get a, be a, a beagle specifically, not to howl. See, because he communicated what his, his solution was, and, and I really had that problem, 
I was like, I'll buy anything this guy has. I ended up spending like 95 bucks that night on an ebook, little video training. It was well worth it because I had a problem. I had a dog that was howling for 40 howls in the morning at 5 a.m., waking everybody up, okay? So I want you to understand this, right? Like, think about this as it relates to your business. Likely, one of the things that's in the way is that you're not valuing the 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 transformation that you provide. So if I want to work with you, I don't know what's in it for me. I don't know how what you do solves my problems and why I need you. Does that make sense? All right. If this is making sense, I want you to write, this is making sense. All right. And I see this all the time. You know, people who describe what they're doing, tell you what they're doing, what their services are, and you still aren't quite sure if what they do is for you or not. You're not quite sure whether or not their services are what you need, okay? I want you to think about how you are introducing yourself and your services and ask yourself, right? Am I clear on the value that I provide? Number two. Number two is you need to build a complete package that creates undeniable value, okay? You need to create, you need to create a complete package for the people who need what you have that has undeniable value. Now, I'm gonna tell you that if you ever wanna stand out from the crowd, and this is how I live my whole life, right? Is that you you have to be generous in whatever it is that you offer. All right. So, so many people have been told that if you do a webinar, you know, just tell people just a little. If you do, if you write a book, don't tell all of your secrets. If you do a live, you know, keep it really quick and um, and not give people value. But I want you to think of it like the customer. Like, imagine if I wanted to work with you and I was listening to you right now and you didn't tell me anything. Okay then how do I make that decision that you are for me? I can't, isn't that right? So I want you to think about this in terms of the things that you are looking to sell. Number one, we should only sell things that we truly can create results for or in, right? So anything that I'm selling to my customers are things that I can demonstrate that I have one, created that result for myself first, And two, then I can demonstrate that I've created those results for other people as well. That's, to me, the greatest way to be able to offer anything in a package. Now, think about the number of times you've bought things from people, but you haven't seen any evidence that what they're selling you that they have actually done. I mean, I have people who told me before that they've signed up with someone to write a book and the person themselves had never, ever written a book. Okay. And and yet they never thought to say, can I see your book? Can I see the way your book is laid out, etc." When you want to build your business and hit six figures plus, plus, and you only need one offer, you need to build a complete package. And that package needs to have undeniable value. That means that the things that you know how to do, only you know how to do that create amazing results, they're clearly called out, spelled out so that that client can get results. Fact, okay? I don't care if it's a webinar. I don't care if it's a teleseminar. I don't care if it's a speaking event, whatever it is. If I'm listening to you, if I'm spending time with you, then am I growing because I am with you? That's what allows people to take that extra journey with you. Um, And I, I think that's one of the things that's in the way quite frankly, in the sales process for many people is that what they're packaging is information and information is something that I can Google. But instead, what you want to do is think about that client and what kind of results they desire. How can what you know really create that result for them, you know, step by step? How can you package together a solution for them that can make all the difference? So many people build their packages, their programs, their processes based on things that they want to give to the world. What if instead of you thinking about you, you thought only about your clients? I think that's one of the reasons that my clients, hey, Joyce, I'm so glad you're here. Um, I think that's why my clients get amazing results is because the first thing that I think about first and foremost is, What do they need to know step by step in order for them to get the results that I create? Okay, not 
let me give you a little bit and then enroll you in this next thing and give you a little bit and enroll you in the next thing and then give you a little bit. What if you provided your clients what I call the full solution? Give them everything that you've got so that they can truly get the results. And, and when people get results, your business grows, right? It doesn't grow because you give someone a little, they don't create any results. And then they say, what you do, what you know, doesn't work. Conversely, if what you do was only designed and created to deliver amazing results for them, that's what you become known for. Trust me on this. I've been in this business for over a decade. And one of the things that you're known for in coaching and consulting and training uh, types of businesses are the results and transformation. If your process creates amazing results for others, there will be evidence that your process does that. And if right now you're listening, you're saying, man, this is OK. You see, she's telling me to build out a complete package that has undeniable value. And I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. You really need to focus on that client first and ask yourself, how can you do what you do to focus on solving their problems, period, step by step, so that you ensure they get a result? Does that make sense? Assuming that they do the work, all right? You can't do anything with people that don't do anything with what you have. Number three, all right, number three. And somebody writes on Facebook, this is helping me. And thank you, I can't see your name, so you have to type your name if you're on Facebook. And Joyce is right, writes, hey Joyce, this is making a lot of sense. And Janelle writes, making a lot of sense. Awesome, thank you guys. I appreciate your feedback. And number three. Number three, how to hit six figures with only one offer. Um, and that's price. Okay. So price yourself only according to the results that you create. Hey, Lori, I'm so glad you're here. Um, price yourself only according to the results that you create. Now, this is a radical concept, and actually, you just heard me say this, and I think that you think you understand this, but let me go deeper, okay? So what I mean is that a lot of people look at what other people do and they're Googleicious, right, around their purpose and their passion. And so they Google, see what other people are charging, and that's how they come up with their rates and their fees. I don't recommend that you do that. You see, what if that person doesn't know their value? And you Google what they're doing, right? Because they have the title that you think you are, you know, you're running a business the same way, two health coaches, for example. And what if they don't know their value? See, if you Google what someone else is doing, you get their value. And if they don't know their value, you get their unknown value. That becomes yours as well, All right? So instead, what I teach my clients how to do is that you, you want to price yourself according to the results that you create. So it doesn't matter what someone's charging, really, if what they charge justifies the result. Think about it, okay? So if if I can help you take what you're doing and, and, and package your knowledge into, I'll use Michelle again, into a high ticket offer, and you do that in 24 hours, okay, and you make $15,000, okay, in 24 hours of, of meeting me, does the investment matter? Would you pay ten grand for that? Would you pay fifteen thousand for that? Think about it. Would you pay twenty? Would you pay a hundred thousand for that? Yes, because she's not going to do it one time. She's going to do it over and over again. In fact, she just posted. And if you guys, if you if you've seen this, then I would love for you to comment on it. She just posted. I think it was Saturday or Friday that she just closed two other two other opportunities. One for thirty thousand and another for 50,000. So here it is, in less than a week, she closed a $15,000 contract, a 30,000 and another 50,000 with an opportunity for equity. Okay, think about it, okay? So price is irrelevant if what you do creates amazing results for your audience. And I think so many people have been taught to to lower your prices, right? Because if you lower your prices, then more people are gonna come. And that's not really what's going to happen. If you lower your prices, you attract the people who don't value investing in themselves. And those are usually the people who also have the habits of mind to not do the work to begin with. OK, just being clear. All right. If you if you price based on the result and the person that wants to work with you wants that result, then they're willing to invest in what you have at the highest level because that result is high value for them. Are you guys understand understanding this? 
Are you getting this? This is a completely different way to think about pricing yourself, all right? None of my clients, I don't teach them to sell for their lead offer anything for low ticket. And because of it, they're able to sell what they have for high ticket over and over and over again. So this is so important to understand the difference, okay? Now, if you had, let me pull up my calculator, which I love to do, right? So let's say you were selling something, well, $47 is always like this popular thing that people do. I don't even understand it. But in any event, let's say you take your expertise, Wendy, right? Your background, all of these years of experience, decades, right? And then you come up with this idea for this 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 particular offer, and you're going to charge forty seven dollars. And let's say I don't know. Tell me, Wendy, or you guys, uh, Crystal, how much do you want to make? How much do you want to earn in one year in your business? So if you could earn anything one year from now, what would you like to earn? I'm going to just show you the difference between the prices, so that I can demonstrate this to you. So how much would you like to earn? Anybody can chime in. One year from now, what would you like to earn in your business? Okay. One year from now, what would you like to earn? Would you like to earn 20,000 one year from now? Would you like to earn 100,000 one year from now? What is the number? All right. And I'm going to demonstrate for you very simply how the offer does matter. So Charlene jumped in first. We'll go with you. So Charlene says 100,000. Janelle says 100,000. Camille's 150. Wendy's 100,000. So we're in great company here, okay? So I'm going to show you why these low ticket offers do not work, right? As a lead strategy, all right? So, and I, I, Aisha writes 600,000. Awesome. All right. So let's say you've been told to sell what you have for 47 bucks. All right. You're now just so you could test it out there just to see if the people like it, you know, all of that. And you want to hit a hundred thousand. I'll just do it this way to keep it easy for me. Well, you need 200 is, do you need, you need 200, 2,127 clients. Okay. So we need to, you know, for four, $47, right. To hit a hundred. You need 2,127, okay? So, uh, and then in your case, I should, we would times that times six. So you need 12,765 customers, all right? Now, is that possible? Sure, it's possible. But that's, if you got to work really hard for that. And the ideal client, you know, when you're selling a product for $47, you want to make sure people get an amazing result. The ideal client that you're attracting there likely is not a person that is going to be the implementer that you desire. But imagine this, okay, Aisha, okay, Charlene, okay. What if you decided 5,000, right? So let's say you just said 5,000. We'll just keep it at 5,000. Then in, in this case, Charlene, you would just need 20 customers. So imagine that you could create a lot better product, a better product at $5,000 versus a $47, almost $50 product, right? Like, so you only need 20 customers. Can you give 20 people more of your time, more of your energy, more of your intellect? Okay. In your case, Aisha, you need uh, 120 customers, right? So you, you would need 120. That's it. Okay. So that's very manageable. Think about if you were working just with 20 people or 40 people or 50 people, and that's at a low offer of like $5,000. But do you see the difference? One is with ease and grace. The other is with hustle and grind. And one of the things that gets in the way that separates people that sell, sell things for low ticket from high ticket is that you never understand, never come to understand what you need to put inside of a high ticket offer to begin with, to make it attractive to people to say yes to you. A lot of times it's my number one, what I talked about here, getting clear on the value that you provide. If you're not clear on that value, then it, it becomes murky when you're thinking about building an offer because you're just thinking about selling something. Number two, not knowing how to build a complete package, right? Step by step is one of the things that gets in the way. Is this making sense? Number three, I am suggesting that you only price yourself according to your results. And so if someone wants to work with me, the reality is that they're buying my knowledge, my experience, and 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 the results that I can create for others. And so price is irrelevant. I mean, Michelle doesn't care that she invested, you know, over ten thousand dollars to work with me because she made eighty thousand dollars in seven days. Okay. Like literally. Okay. Number four, 
number four. Um, position your new found position your newfound authority, okay? So what I mean by that is, I think one of the things that gets in the way of being able to hit six figures with only one offer is not knowing how to position yourself as an authority, right? As the new authority. A lot of times when people get started in business, they're like, I'm brand new at this, right? And so because they're brand new, they think that they, they have a new business, got a new business name, and therefore they're new. But you're like been in school like 20 years ago. You got all of your degrees and your certifications. You got 20 years, 30 years of experience. And isn't it time that you told the full story in your marketing so that you could get in front of your ideal clients? And I think that positioning is key. Um, it is one of the reasons that someone will want to work with you. And if you don't tell me why you're great, then why would I trust you? I will never work with a doctor that has a confidence issue. And I certainly wouldn't hire a coach or a consultant either that says, I don't know if I could do this for you, right? Think about it, all right? So one of the things that's really important is becoming comfortable in your own mindset so you can stand and be the person that you need to be to be able to position yourself as the authority. You are the authority. You have the experience. You have the talent and the, and the skills. There is a, a science to positioning, certainly. However, if you aren't telling the story about why I need to pick you, is the reason I haven't picked you. It's, I'm, 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 I'm being very honest. I wanted to break this down. For those of you who, who watch me all the time, I want you guys to get this in 2021. Like literally, okay, one thing can change everything. We had a client who came to the Giant Experience Conference two weeks ago, Masaida, and she closed her first deal for $2,500, like day four, okay? Why? All around positioning understanding she already has exactly what she needs. She already creates amazing results for the client. She was not pricing what she should have been pricing based on the kind of transformation and results that she creates for her clients and wanted to change that, number one. Number two, she understood how to position herself differently to attract a different buyer. See, there are people who want to work with you that are investors. And if you're that person, you keep working with these people who can't afford what you're saying. You're like, can't afford uh, what you, you know, what, they can't afford your prices and they want you to discount what you're doing or they're just not the right fit. It's time to learn how to market differently, how to market with authority. Literally, it will change your entire business. Trust me, all my clients, they are smart, they're sharp, they believe in self-investment, they're action takers, they're go-getters and they're go-givers. And every single one of my clients come to me. All right. I'm not a big fan of chasing people or trying to convince someone to work with me. You know if what I do is something that's for you, in which case you have to proactively pursue it. The kind of results that I bring to the table. Simple as that. And the same is true for you. Your ideal client is waiting to work with you. And the reason that they're not working with you is because of how you've positioned yourself and how you're positioning the results that you create. Number five, are you guys getting value? Are you getting value or are you getting value? Number five, okay. And five is, and then I'll open the Q and A, is work only with investors. Work only with investors. I should make that a song. Work only with investors. Like work only with investors. You guys get it. Okay. I don't really hum a tune or sing a tune. Okay. Um, so in any event, work only with investors. So maybe the reason that you haven't hit six figures plus is because you have not decided to work with investors. You've been spending your time with a big net thinking you're just going to catch everybody. You know, you're going to catch everyone that could potentially be your customer. But what if you're not meant to work with everyone, Rhonda, right? What if you're meant to work only with people who desire what I talked about above? Let me recap quickly. Number one, okay, you get clear on the value you provide the world and you stop copying what other people are doing because it's probably not working. So don't do it. And if you've already copied what somebody else has done, you already know it didn't work because look, look at where you are right now in your business, right? Um, or piecing together what you're doing, meaning over here, you're learning how to package something. Over here, you're learning how to price something. Over here, you're learning how to sell something. And all of that information is so disjointed that it creates conflict for you, right? You don't know what to do. You don't know who to listen to because it's too many different voices inside your head. Maybe just maybe one of the things that you need is a full solution. 
All right, you need to know all the things that you need to do. Number two, build a complete package that creates undeniable value. Now, in, in opposed to just building something that you wanted to build and give the world, great. Okay, you love it. Okay, but you're not, it's, you didn't build the product for you. You built the product to solve the problems of others. So put that customer first and del deliver undeniable value to the package, it should be a complete package that solves their problems, literally. It shouldn't be information-based, no, no. Information is cheap. I can Google anything, okay? I always say this, anybody can teach you the what, but the only people that can teach you the how are people who have created those results themselves. So you get to decide when you are building what you're doing, okay? Are you gonna be that person that teaches the how? Number three, price yourself only according to your results. Now, this is a scary place. I know it's a high level conversation, but it's the only conversation I want to have with you. Because if next year you want to hit the goals that you put out here from $100,000 to $600,000, you guys have written. Okay. And if you're watching the replay, write your, what do you want to earn one year from now? I want to hear it. I want to see it. Okay. The fact of the matter is the only way you're going to hit that goal or the easiest way to hit that goal is by really delivering amazing value and charging for that. And knowing that the person that wants to work with you, they pay for results. I mean, if you had a toothache, right? You, you don't want to just go get some, is it called Ambisol? I think that's what it's called, right? You don't want to just get something in a tube and put it on your tooth, right? Just to numb it for a minute. If you have a toothache, it's a big problem. You want the solution to that problem. What if you approach your business exactly that way? Number four, position your what you're doing as the newfound authority, you are the authority, okay? And sometimes we need mindset work to own all of who we are. My clients call themselves giants. And I only work with giants because in order to change your life, you gotta be giant in your thinking. This idea that there's, there's not a coach or consultant in the world that can do anything for you if you have no beliefs and you don't have the habits of mind to do the work, period. OK, you got to be an implementer giant. OK, you got to be a, an action taker. OK, you, you got to take 100 percent responsibility for your implementation, for whatever it is that you want, for the vision that you have, the calling on your life, for the results, for the clients that you're going to create. Got to be giant about it. OK, um, you, you giants, I find they, they desire and have an appetite to be around other people, their own ambition level and above. And maybe just maybe you've been in circles or worlds or environments where people are always talking about somebody hating on them, somebody not pulling for them. And you're like, blah, blah, blah. I am not going that way and I'm not swimming that way. OK, so what I believe is that you've desired to be in community with people, your own ambition level and above people who want to see you in and who win every day. I think when you hang out with people who are who accomplish more than you, they grow you, right? They grow your comprehension by 30% just by association. So those giants, right? And ask yourself, like, you know, how can you position yourself as a newfound authority so that the people who need what you have come to you because of what you do, okay? And number five, work only with investors, right? And I would work with you if you had these elements. Like, like if you have an offer that solves my problem and it's not a patch or a band-aid, I would work with you, okay, 100%. And, and if you're charging based on the results you create and I want that result and I can see you can do that, I would work with you. See, people are not not saying yes, not because you don't have a great product. It's probably because of the way that you're packaging and how you're positioning what you've got going on. And I see that sometimes when the clients make this small tweak in what they're doing, every single thing changes. The light bulb comes on. And I hope that this particular training tonight really got you thinking, right? No matter where you sit, if you're watching the replay, that just thinking like, listen, you can change everything in 2021. OK, by following these simple steps that I've given you tonight, you know, in order to work with only with investors, you have to change how you see um, what you offer. To, it's, it's true. Right. So the, the reality is that the first sale is you and that if you're charging low fees, you're charging it because of your own beliefs. Right. OK, you may be charging it because some of some toxic thought that people need to start here in order for them to go here, to go right here, to go right there. 
Well, that's not true. I have clients all the time that go from no sales, right? Before they met me to charging high ticket. They don't even have a website set up because they understand how to have a value-based conversation when you're selling, right? People want value. And that's the thing that's missing in the marketplace. People want truth, okay? People want authenticity. And they want to see that if you tell me that you can create that result for me, I want to see evidence that you created that result for other people in their life and world. Maybe you, and then also in the life and world of others. So only sell that which you know, all right? All right, so I'm going to read a couple of these comments. I would love to hear your favorite aha or takeaway here as I um, reflect, and then we'll go right into the live Q&A, which is always super fun for me, okay? Um, uh, Crystal writes, yes, step-by-step -step delivery is not appreciated in my industry, ironically, architecture. So there are people who... Um, that need step-by-step. -step. Like the only reason you know how to be an architect is somebody taught you step-by-step. -step. And I think that we often have beliefs that, yeah, it'll work over here, but it won't work over here. I hear this all the time. Okay. And that's not true. You know, the question is, what is the package that could work in your industry? Is it licensing? Okay. Licensing? Sure. Like maybe you've got a process that you can license. Like literally, have you thought about that? Okay. So, um, you know, in any, in any event, in order for us to hit six figures plus with only one offer, we have to be expansive around ask, our ask. The question is not that in my industry, this won't work. The question is, how can this work in my industry? That's the question that I would be asking if that were me. Okay. Lori writes, she's getting it. And Wendy said she's getting it as well. Charlene wrote, a hundred thousand dollars and Janelle here wrote a hundred K. We're gonna I'm gonna hold you to that, Janelle. Okay, and Camille at 150,000 and Wendy a hundred K. Aisha, let's see, is six hundred thousand. I like your hair in that dress too. Okay, and Crystal 200. Awesome. And let's see, any more comments? Let me slide down. All right, share your aha takeaway, okay. Um, and what is the minimum price that you consider a high ticket offer? So $2,500. So no less than $2,500 is what I teach my clients. But most of my clients on average sell things for $10,000 or more. Okay. Um, Aisha, my business is new, but I've been doing this for years. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see. Janelle says yes and good stuff. Let's see here. Um any other ahas or takeaways? Tracy says, hey, will I be able to catch a replay? You will. You will. You'll be able to catch a replay. Um, and Aisha says, how do you show the results if you have no clients? So that's such a great question. So when I got started my business years ago as the mom strategist, I mean, I was my first client and I was able to demonstrate the results literally, because it was what I was doing. And some moms would ask me informally, like, how is it that you always have time to read a book or do this or do that or whatever it is? And I would show them exactly what it was that I did. Right. Okay. And uh, Sheila's in the house. So proud of you, Sheila, by the way. Um, and um, so I first created results for myself, evidence. My life was evidence. And then other women then said, tell me how are you how to do the same thing. And, and I began to build a business that way. As I began to build my own business and brand from scratch, literally, and I got signed to corporate partners using my book um, with Fortune 100 and 500 companies. When I um, got signed to Emmy nominated, nationally syndicated television shows multiple times, paid talent, you know, as I began to write other books that became best selling books, uh, as I began to create a movement across the country with brands and coach other moms, I had other women that said, Tell me how are you doing this? So, literally, the proof was me living my truth and, and, and showing that I am the first example that this works. Okay. And I show my clients all the time that a lot of times I have people who have worked for years and they've never, they don't have any evidence or proof of the results that they created. And I show them exactly how to do that. Okay, Janelle says her aha moment. Let me try to get it here. Okay, aha moment. Anyone can teach you the what. 
um, we need to deliver the how. That's the separator. So many people are always going to tell you that they can do this, they can do that, they can do this, all these things. But at the end of the day, and you know what? It's been really fun for me during this time because I've been sharing a lot of my memories. So if you're my clients, you guys have been seeing this, but I've been posting memories because Facebook's like sending all these memories. And I'm like, everything that I teach them, I can demonstrate. Like I did that. So they, that I was over there doing this. I show them that I've done it. Okay. So I don't have to just tell people that I do things that because, you know, show people. Um, Andrea says that is right there. You are your first client. That's right. Andrea, beautiful. I'm so glad you're here. As always, Jackie Golden, uh, my takeaway, don't price my package based on what others have done. Don't be Google-licious, right? Like, come on, right? You know, you have high ticket offers. Um, Janelle, how do you suggest marketing to to in landing a corporate client? That's a big question. And it's actually a multi-step question. So what I will say about that, Janelle, is that one of the things that brands like is social media, right? So if I wanted to work with a brand and I wasn't working with a brand, first thing I would look at is how am I representing my brand? Like if I were a brand right now and I popped on your page, your personal page, your LinkedIn page, your what do I see? Okay. And do I see a brand that I want to be in partnership with? I think that's a good place to start. Um, but that's a big question because it's actually a pitch that goes into it. But I would say first getting yourself brand ready, making sure that the way you're representing yourself is ask yourself that big question. Like if I wanted to do business right now with Coca-Cola, if, if their brand folks came and looked at my profile, social media, what I'm saying, what people are saying, is this congruent with them? Okay. How about that? All right. Have you thought of doing the giant experience two times a month in January, for example? Camille, I am, we are doing it one time in January. Um, that event is such an incredible event, by the way. And the results that people have created that have attended are phenomenal. The next event is on, let me tell you, I want to make sure I tell you guys the right dates. Okay. Let me tell you the right dates. Okay. January 11th to 15th. And I'm so excited. I'll put the link here about doing the event because I thought about it and I said, you know what? People are going to want to kick their new year off, right? They're going to say, okay, listen, after this Christmas, after New Year's, the ball drops, whatever happens, right? They're going to be ready. They're going to be ready to rock and roll. And those individuals, that subset that says, I'm ready to build this business, right? And start the new year off right with you. There you go. So the class is, can only really be based on um, our mode of delivery and the prep that it takes. We can only do it once every six weeks. And uh, truthfully, it's, it's very popular. The results that we've created have been amazing. And uh, and so, but when we're done, like literally we just recovered. Like, <laughs> you know, when we're done that one week, you know, the prep that it takes and then the rest that it, it requires in order for me to show up hundred percent and give you guys everything I have. And that's my only goal is to see those individuals who are smart and they're sharp and they're ready to package what they're doing into a high ticket offering. Okay. Um, as you know, that the event is now 1597. Everyone there says that it should be between 2,500 and 7,500. I agree. All right. You know, at the point that we have someone that comes and makes $80,000 in a week. Okay. Another woman makes $2,500 within four days. You know, another does $25,000 within, as Camille did, within eight weeks. I mean, there are countless examples of results over and over and over again. So, um, but my goal is just to give you something real, right? Like real. And to earn your trust. Okay. Uh, hey there, Isla. Aha moment. I have to really work on my mindset to position myself as the authority. You know what? I was wondering if anybody really got that because that's so key, right? Like the reason that people say $150 or $250 or that'll be, uh, you know, whatever it is, right? It, it, and they won't stand in their value despite the fact, the evidence that you are the expert has everything to do with belief. And sometimes you need that extra layer of accountability to see you. That's not listening to you playing small. That calls out that giant that's inside of you, right? If you were going to do it yourself, you already would be charging it and you wouldn't be here, 
right now. Okay. It's just fact. Okay. Uh, Aisha says, you know, I love that. I love the praying hands there. Um, and Sherry with the great photo says, how do I dig out my inner giant? How does one begin to create the shift? Right. So, um, well, first of all, the giant is inside of you. And I think that the first thing is giving yourself permission, right. To acknowledge the tallest parts of yourself. This is something that I learned. This will help everybody, right? This is something that I learned. And we'll just switch right into the Q&A part. But this is something that I learned um, coaching um, women, um, you know, years ago was that what I realized was that the part, the, the thing that we're in conflict with the most is that inner giant. So playing small, we can do that because then we don't have to grow. We don't have to change. We don't have to deal with anything that really scares us, right? Because <clears throat> we're already living that. But dealing with that inner giant is about being seen. It's about being vulnerable with another part of yourself. So if I were you to answer your question, Sherry, what I do is start every single day. I would begin to read something that could move me forward in my own mindset or my own personal beliefs. Um, my favorite book is Success Principles for that. It's a really great book. Okay. It's not a book that you would read from cover to cover, like in a, like a novel, you would read a core concept and you would then practice it. Um, I just think that building a muscle of, of uh, acknowledging the parts of you um, that are great. Okay. All right. And then uh, Aisha says, Daniel, I'm re really making this, I'm really making this happen. I think that's what you're saying there. Yeah. Yeah. You got to be there. Now I will tell you, you know, one of the things that's cool about my events and I'm not, you know, I'm not selling you guys on an event, but I'm telling you it's an amazing event is that it's not only that the training that you get, it's the people. Okay. Any of my clients can attest to the people. See, there's something really special about being around people who are like-minded in the truest sense, like your own ambition, love and above. I don't really work with women who are like uh, hustle and grind minded, like, you know, or we're not doing that. Uh, I work with people who um, have an elevated thought life, thought process around um, seeing other people win and grow. And uh, it's something that we really do value tremendously is we interview every client in the community to make sure that they are a fit. OK, because, see, you know, the thing is, nobody's going to drag you to your greatness. You know, your greatness, you got to decide, you make a decision one day, just like I had to make a decision. Like, I mean, man, we're, we're 37 pounds overweight. Like, what are we waiting for? You know what I'm saying? To be 40 pounds overweight. You have to make a decision. Okay. And when you make that decision, everything changes, right? Your choices change, your behaviors change, what you receive, what you can receive changes. You know, I find with most of my clients that there is a layer of money around them that they just cannot see. And the moment that they change their beliefs, Ayla, right? The moment they change their beliefs, they change like, oh, that was there all the time. I just didn't know I was ready for the thing that was there all the time. All right. Are there any other questions? Uh, Joyce writes, yes. Okay. And Ayla writes, um, yes, yes. Accountability, right? So um, I know that Janelle and Joyce, you guys have come to the conference. And I think you guys can speak to the caliber of women. You know, uh, the reality is that they're, they, they just meet each other at this conference and they don't know each other. And by the end of a week, the bond that is formed by Friday is incredible. And people often ask me like, how did that happen? It happens because when you match people according to ambition level, it will always happen. And I don't work with people who don't want great things for others. I'm just not into it. It's not my thing. Okay. I don't work with people who think that they, you know, they got to have a breakdown to have a breakthrough. I don't think you have to have a breakdown to break through. I think you can just break through. Okay. Okay. Like, like think about it. These are all beliefs. I, I, I'm not one to ascribe to any of the toxic cultures of uh, culture or language as it relates to scarcity. Right. That there's more than than one set of customers. Right. I don't have to take something from somebody. I don't have to dominate someone to be great. I mean, that's that's toxic language as I see it. And there's no space in the way that I coach, train and consult with my clients. There's nothing but abundance. And um, 
uh, Aisha writes, right, right. And then Janelle writes, absolutely. It's such an amazing event. And the transformation is incredible during the event. And most people say to me who attend my events that what they received as a result of being there was not what they thought. It, it's not what they expected. Oh, uh, I forgot. That's right. Angie, I would have called on you. She said, so agree. You don't need a breakdown. You don't need a breakdown, right? And right to have a breakthrough. Speak to your experience in terms of the women at the conference, right? So the kind of women, um, they're just they're sharp. They're supportive. They're highly actionable, right? And, and I think for a lot of people, for the very first time, they find their people. OK, you don't need a breakdown to have a breakthrough. And if that's what you have to have in order to have a breakthrough, then I'm not for you. OK, because I say, let's go. OK, uh, Joy says matching at the ambition level. Giants are all awesome in their own right and skin. And Mia leads regally. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, Joyce just attended the last um, two weeks ago, the event two weeks ago. And these women didn't know one another. And by Friday, they had two hours of things, two hours of things to say about one another that was so high value because of the caliber of the vetting to make sure we have the right women, right? And um, there's a level of intimacy that happens. And I find that people are really looking for, for their people. They're looking for authenticity, looking for truth, right? They're, 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 they're not looking for that. Like, I don't want to pay my money and have to deal with I don't want to deal with ego, anybody's ego. I, you know, I've got to deal with my own. All right. So um, Alice says, is the conference only online? Well, it's COVID right now. Yes. Okay. <laughs> the conference isn't only online. Okay. But you actually, the way it works is that when you sign up, we give you your training in advance a week before the conference. So you actually get all of your training, which everybody's always surprised by in advance so that you can begin doing the work at home. And then the live event um, is um, from the 11th through the 15th, okay? And from the 11th through the 15th, I then um, answer any of your questions related to the training. And the training is pretty amazing. Like, it's phenomenal. Um, I teach you about how to go deep on packaging what you're doing, how to price the value of your transformation, how to position yourself in the marketplace and why to, why to do it, why and the hows. You see tons and tons of examples of what this looks like. So you can't know unknow what it is, right? Like you will know exactly how to do the things that I've talked to you about, like literally step by step, right? And how to, who you are, what you do, like you'll understand what is it that I really and truly do and what is it that I provide and how do I price that? And you'll understand, you know, how to stand taller in your marketing and your sales process. And literally, I, um, I always reward my clients for showing up and for doing the work. It's an absolute over deliver event for the price, truthfully. And the bonuses that you get in addition to the training, the bonus sells for $9.97 alone, one of them, and the other one sells for $2,400. And that comes along with the purchase. So my only goal is to give you everything I have because I know that when my clients win, we get to support more women who want to create amazing results. Sherry Rice, mm -hmm. I'm not exactly sure what that was for, right? But yeah, this is it, super, the event is super yummy and it is online, it's all recorded. So if you have to miss a day, you know, you come and it's in the evening. So um, the event um, starts at five o'clock. We do a watch party for the training that you received the week in advance. We started every day um, and you see just a little bit, about an hour and a half each and every day. Um, and then the actual live training with me comes on at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Eight to 10 o'clock, eight to 10 o'clock, wink, wink. Okay. Uh, every single day, if you're my client, you understand, but every eight to 10 o'clock, Monday through Friday, I answer every question you have around packaging, pricing, positioning, finding buyers. Okay. Um, okay. And uh, Aisha says, do you speak to the individual person and their goals? Yes, I do. Actually, I do. Um, so, but I'll let my clients, any of you guys that see this, do I speak? Did you feel that I spoke to you, your individual, you as an individual, right? And your goals, or did you feel like you were a number? All right. So, and please be honest. Okay. Um, Joyce, Joyce writes, yummy. 
uh, y'all, right? Okay, she's at the event and I hear you, uh, right? In a good, right, okay. And um, Alice, I just want to know when will I meet others, right? So yeah, so we open up, there's a private community that we have also. And um, um, then when when the portal opens for your class, um, the week, the week that we open the portal for your content, you then start to meet your class. And um, everybody gets started at the exact same time. The bonding happens over the course of the week. People find their accountability partners forever, um, literally. Um, and, you know, that's what we, we've known, right? And Camille writes, yes, I'm trying to determine my package, right? So Camille, the event would be really terrific for you. You would, um, you know, you would get what you need. And Jackie writes, yes, very personable. It's very personable, right? So um, it's not a cookie cutter event, like maybe some of the things that you're used to. And um, you are seen, you are held accountable and um, people get results, right? And that's the expectation. That's the culture that we have. And I will say that we are looking to attract people who are ready to do the work. Like you're, you're not coming to whine. You're coming to win. Okay. You're coming because you're like, I know I create an amazing result and I need to figure out how to package it and sell it in a different way. And what I'm doing isn't working or you don't even want to get started doing it the wrong way. Okay. Um, uh, Aisha says, thanks, Jackie. Okay. And Camille says, I couldn't attend in December as I had finals that week and you graduated. Awesome. How cool is that? Congratulations. All right. Um, but now January, come on in January. You'll love it. It's a great way, I think, to kick off the new year um, and to have the tools that you need. You know, there's, there's different ways to learn what we do. Um, a lot of my clients are, are um, have multiple degrees. You know, they have multiple, multiple, multiple degrees. Um, I think, Jackie, you're one of them. And and then some of my clients package their life skills, their soft skills, like as a mom coach like me. Right. So, you know, it the one common denominator, I think, that all of the giants have is that they know that they have an ability to create results for others in some way. So, you know, they might not have been monetizing it, but they want to figure out how to do that. Or they're doing it already professionally, but they can't figure out how to turn this on in their business. Are there any other questions? I told you I'd be here. I'll do a live Q&A to answer any questions that you have. My only goal is to support you, right, is to support you 100% in, um, you know, figuring this out, right, going into the new year, right, with the step-by-step -step that you need that can make all the difference. And I want you to know that what you're doing, right? There's nothing wrong with you, right? You're like, why can't I make this work? You can make this work. Sometimes it's just that light bulb. It's just that light bulb coming on. And when that light bulb comes on, it changes every single thing. Um, if you're not already a part of my Facebook group, Mia Redrick, Giant Life and Business Results, I suggest that you join that group, um, Mia Redrick, Giant Life and Business Results, and all the proof you want to see is all the proof in the world is right there, okay? Um, and also here on um, my Mia Redrick, my public page, you can always check the reviews, but if you go to Mia Redrick, Giant Life and Business Results, you have to apply to be there, but you'll be able to do all the proof you want, and the biggest question that you, all the big, all, all you'll be able to check all the proof that you need, and the biggest question you have to ask yourself when you see the proof is whether or not you are ready to step inside of that for yourself. Because I always say that my clients who are on that page or people who see the results and don't move forward, you can't deny what you see. You know, they can't all be lying. OK, they can't all be lying. OK, so you have to make a decision of being congruent and in alignment with whatever it is that you want. Right. OK. All right. Um. And Aisha says, thank you for everything tonight. And I hope to see you in, the, in January. I, I hope to see you too. Okay, awesome. And Camille says, last question. It's okay. Uh, did you say that we could offer a book we've written as part of the package? Sure. Um, one of the things that I offered that I led with um, was my book. And I ended up doing corporate partnerships, Camille, with um, Panera Bread, Great Harvest Bread Company, um, you know, for, use my book as a, as a strategic tool with a corporation, right? So, um, sure. And I teach my clients all the time how to leverage books, right? And 
whatever it is that they want to do. So whether it's with the corporation or whether it's as a, a lead magnet or whether it's a, a way to boost your consulting and sell what you have in a different way, there are lots of ways to be able to use books. I, over a hundred, and I think it's 97, 98 of my clients, I've personally supported in writing books. One arm of my business is ghostwriting and writing curriculum for clients. And so that's it. I only take on 10 clients a year now. Um, and so we usually book out pretty quickly about nine months in advance. We have a wait list. Okay. Beyond that. And that's it. Okay. So, um, but definitely could show you how to leverage your book for sure. All right. Um, before we sign off, are there any questions, all right? And for those of you who are watching the replay, I want to thank you uh, also for staying until the very end, watching this replay, um, because it's super important. And my only goal is to support you 100%. I'll post the link here again for the um, the conference. And, um, you know, I just encourage you to, to, to step into it, lean into it, right? Trust yourself. I think we have one of the best guarantees ever, which is if you come to the event, and you consume all the training, you do all the work in the workbook and you watch all the training and you feel like I didn't get what I was promised, I will give you your money back. No questions asked, but you do have to do the work and you have to show it, right? And you do have to have watched all the training and you have to illustrate that. Okay. Oh, Vasite is here. Okay. And she writes, so glad I did the John experience earlier this month. It's been amazing. Now, Vasita, what would you say was the biggest aha that you got from being at the event, right? So you were new, you just came to the event two weeks ago, right? And then I think sometimes what people are wondering is like, is this real? Will this work for me? You know, does it work kind of thing, right? What would you, how would you address that? Because you were just there, you know, two weeks ago. And what was it for you that was, that made all the difference, right? And I think that's always important to ask, um, you know, people who've come to the event, like, what was it for you? Because their questions, I mean, her, their answers are ultimately the questions that people want to come is what they have as well. Um, and I would say that, you know, to me, I think that what we do exceptionally well at the event is we over deliver. We, we give you what is on that page, on those pages, but I think you get some things on those pages around packaging your knowledge, pricing, positioning yourself, learning how to uh, get media, learning how to do Facebook ads. I think you learn things outside of that, that I never, ever, uh, I, that I've never, uh, that you never thought of before. Joyce and Vasita were in the same class and she writes, hey, Vasita, my sister giant. So I'm assuming Vasita is right, writing and I'm gonna give her a minute because there is a Facebook delay. But I am curious to know, like, what was the aha that she had as a result of being at the event? And, you know, um, she created a very quick result. And um, and I, I think that that's always really important. Beside her, for me, I learned some specific things that I need to do differently in my business. But the biggest aha ahas were about the limiting beliefs that I was holding on to. Yes. And isn't it funny because when we have a limiting belief, then everything in terms of our approach, how we do business, the customers we think available to us, the prices that we charge, all of that is influenced by that. And the moment that we are we take a greater stand that we elevate the way we see what's possible. It's funny because you can create shifts pretty quickly, right? You can find out about a new part of who you are a lot quicker, a lot faster, a lot sooner. She says, hey, Joyce, right? So, so, so important. So I don't know where you sit with this in terms of your own mindset, but I love what she shared here because 100% understanding that you are attracting your thoughts is you are, okay? So whether we accept them or not, you are. You're attracting your beliefs. And that the moment that you understand exactly how to shift that, and I think I'm really good at that. I think I'm a thought shifter, okay? If I, I might be a thought shifter. Maybe I'll change my title, right? Like maybe I'll be a thought shifter, right? Instead of the chief giant, right? So, um, but that's really important. Any final questions before we sign off? Questions, comments, 
anything before we sign off? I want to thank you for your time as always. And I appreciate you. You could have been anywhere and you decided to be here with me today. And I honor you for that. I love you guys. Joyce writes, yes. And um, I love you guys. I know that you're going to have an amazing week uh, and a beautiful holiday season and a wonderful new year. I love you. Have a great, amazing day. Bye.